So this is the head housing in the down position and you can see my gas lift assembly. I have three of them and one in the far corner here. Anyways, the three of them are in the down position and uh, with a little rope tied between them that acts as uh, something to pull on to collapse the configuration but also when it's up I could hang some laundry on it. Anyways, I will give you a visual demonstration if I can. For transportation purposes, the head housing is in the down position. And when I want to have it in the up position, and everything is locked into place. I have uh, some locking pins. Security. Okay, some holds on the housing and holds it forward. It's nice and rigid. Still have to make a door. But that is it. That is it in the up configuration and lots of standing room uh, for here I'll have to uh, make some sort of a little window anyways and a door so, I just reverse the process and I use this little rope here to pull both gas lifts in at the same time and I grab this one First, I've got to pull the pins. One. Two. Those are my safety pins so that somebody doesn't collapse the housing by mistake. I'm going to pull this rope and pull this third gas lift. So I now have the canopy up and I'm inside and I'm attaching all the uh, support mechanisms. Uh, I'm playing this by ear. Um, I think I got it positioned correctly but until I get things raised up I'll probably have to adjust things after. I'm also uh, making use of my little pot lights. I have it just temporarily plugged into a power supply and they are going to work fine. I have the back support mechanism in place and uh, the front is also uh, attached. Uh, but I haven't raised that up because I need to stabilize uh, where the posts lock in at the back corner. Uh, that has to be uh, very secure. I have completed the ones at the back. I still need to uh, work on the ones for the front. Um, you have to be very careful uh, if you're going to be doing something like this with uh, gas lifts and hinged posts that canopy weighs 185 pounds with the solar panels on it um, you can have a situation where the uh, posts will hinge backwards um, and if that happens that whole canopy will collapse down so you have to be very careful about your planning uh, the best situation would be to use, instead of gas lifts uh, for the bottom part of the post, to use uh, linear actuators, which is something I'm looking into. So I switched my support mechanism over to linear actuators uh, that will raise a canopy by 30 inches. and. I abandoned the uh, other way I was doing it with gas lifts because it was just too dangerous, flimsy. Uh, I did have it 
collapse on me once, damaging a bit of the canopy, which I have to repair yet. Um, so right now I'm just testing the linear actuators. I have them raised 18 inches. And the only issue I have seen so far is that they don't raise all together. So I'm going to have to do some tuning. Um, perhaps eventually put two separate switches in. The ones at the back seem to go up faster than the ones at the front. And I'm not quite sure why. Uh, anyways, I'm going to be testing it. So right now uh, it's up 18 inches. And I'm just using a little uh, variable power supply. Um, it draws about six, seven amps total, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, anyways, uh, I will uh, now continue to raise it. take a measurement so the linear actuators are now fully extended up 30 inches and uh, they did go up at uh, different rates and I don't know if they just have to be worked in or not I'll have to play with it um, anyways I don't want to be rocking the canopy back and forth because there's uh, no secondary stability right now I will be adding that later and that so uh, this is a success moment I have the canopy fully raised I'll uh, take a picture of it from outside well you are outside I'll take a picture from uh, the driveway so the clearance here to the cross beam is six foot or sorry five foot eleven five foot eleven I'm just under five foot ten so I will be good there's the canopy fully raised 30 inches up from uh, its resting point it will give me a head clearance um, 5 foot 11 inches head clearance so sorry Dave you're gonna have to duck a little but I will be fine I'll do a walk around and of course you can see my pot lights are on I've been using those uh, while I was working indoors or inside the boat when the canopy was down couldn't see we are getting very close to being able to launch this. I, I need to uh, now uh, put some sort of secondary stability for the canopy because it will rock back and forth and there's a lot of a lot of stress up there. So my plan will be to build uh, center window sections that uh, will hinge down and clamp uh, right to the top of the railing. So the canopy is closed. Uh, originally I wanted the canopy to come down closer to the rails, but uh, because I had to do a design change, I had to sacrifice a little bit. Um, you could get a linear actuators that go up a little bit higher than this, but I'd have to order them uh, from China, and I wasn't going to wait and 
you know, a couple of months to get them. So I sacrificed um, a little bit. So I'll be able to get this in the water sooner. For long-term storage and that, I can always uh, disconnect the uh, linear actuators from the base and fold the canopy right down. 